Hi everyone, my name is Carmen and welcome to my channel, New Leaf Podcast. Now usually I record podcasts about knitting and crocheting, but this is a sewing related video. Um, I recently got a sewing machine and I've been dabbling a bit in sewing and I've been really liking it. And today I am going to share some of the masks that I made. <laughs> These are all just um, tests. Um, I have made some proper masks um, and I will show you later. So um, first off, none of the masks that I made are medically approved. So they're, they aren't proper nurses masks, uh, they are just masks uh, for if I want to go abroad, um, for example to Germany or Austria or Belgium, um, they do require you to wear masks uh, in shops or, you know, wherever in public. Um, I'm not quite sure on the rules, so, <laughs> but I know that I do need a mask if I want to go to the supermarket abroad. Um, so I thought I would make some and it's great practice too for, um, you know, sewing other things. So I made a couple. I made five test masks. So these four and then another one. And they are from two, no, three tutorials. And I will share them and I'll just kind of um, tell you what I think about them. Uh, if I found it easy because, you know, I'm a super beginner sewist, so um, yeah, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just gonna explain if it was helpful for me or not. So uh, the first tutorial that I watched was by Treasury and she has um, a video that covers two types of masks and one is a pleated mask and one is a kind of uh, cup mask and it's um, she covers the two masks in one video. I'm going to link it down below. Um, and the first one that she does is this pleated mask. And I was really intimidated by pleats because uh, they seem really difficult. And I don't really like ironing. <laughs> so, But I, uh, I gave it a try. So this was my very first mask. mask so it is uh, really... Um, not very good quality. <laughs> if I were to try it again now, it will it would probably look much better. But uh, she she just uh, takes one layer of fabric. So it's just one piece. So it's kind of thin. Uh, no pocket or no backside. So it's just one layer. Um, so I don't know if you would find that, find that too thin, but it is really breathable. So. Um, I didn't finish them with elastics because I didn't have elastics at the time and I thought to add them now would kind of be a waste of the elastic. Um, oh, the fabric that I used is, I think it's cotton, um, but it was kind of difficult to work with. I, I'll uh, share more about that later, but I think it's just cotton. Uh, they tell you to use uh, plain 100% cotton for these masks. Um, so it's a pleated mask. I don't know if you can still understand what I'm saying. So I found it to be a little bit too long. So, uh, but that's easy to fix. You just need a smaller piece of fabric. Um, and you basically fold the, the sides over twice, sew it into place, um, then do the pleats sew that and then you fold the sides over and sew, sew that into place. Um, the pleats don't look as neat on the inside, they're kind of baggy. I don't know if, it's probably just me uh, because it was the first time I did pleats. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I found it to be a bit too big, but it's easy to fix, and um, I would suggest do doing a double layer of fabric, but again, that's an easy fix as well. For the elastics, they simply sew it on. Um, I prefer the masks where they create a tube for the elastic to go through, but in this one, they just um, sew it 
so the elastic end onto the mask and I don't know if elastic frays a lot but you know it might come undone later and she would show you show you how to do the elastic to fit around your ear or uh, do a large elastic at the top and at the bottom so you can wrap it around your head uh, so that was the first one and the cup style mask was the second one covered in her video so also treasury um, and again I'll link it down below and uh, I found this mask really difficult um, but it's it's probably because I really don't like ironing <laughs> And you really, uh, so you take four, four pieces of fabric like this, two for the outside and two for the inside, and then she also puts interfacing inside. I didn't have any interfacing, so I uh, just skipped that. You could insert another layer of fabric, but I thought three might be too excessive, so I just tried with uh, two. You sew them together down the middle. And then at the top and at the bottom and you then turn it right side out through the side and then you iron it so that you know it's um, it's all nice <laughs> but again I'm bad at ironing um, and also my iron uh, started leaking water during this mask so I probably um, could have done better <laughs> Um, and then the sides are folded over and then also sewn. Um, and then the elastics are, um, are attached in the same way. But I think it's kind of too small. Let me show you. So, so I would like it to be a bit higher on my nose. But then it just reaches my chin and not it doesn't go over um, and I think it's too close to my mouth so this one is really um, you know when when you breathe in uh, you kind of suck in the fabric and uh, really um, it makes me a little bit claustrophobic so so I did not like this um, I you know, I do hear that a lot of people like this cup style mask and um, I bet that um, if I just found a different uh, template that I would uh, find one that I would like. For example, there is this one video of um, two American women talking about, you know, we made hundred thousands of masks and here are our tips. I'll link that video down below as well. And they are talking about a mask, um, I think it's called the Jesse mask. Um, but uh, it was from this dude and he made his own template and uh, you basically you take your measurements and the template has different sizes. So that's really helpful. So if you would like a cup style mask, I would uh, advise to go see that video because this one only gives one size. But you know, it's easy to cut out the shape a little bit larger, at least I think so. But uh, I kind of liked the pleated style better anyway, so I decided not to try this again. Um, then the next video that I followed is by DIY Crafts JP, so um, I think that stands for Japan, and uh, it was a very clear tutorial, and this is the one that I ended up using, although I slightly modified it. So, um, and again, this is linked down below. Um, so she starts with a fabric that is 50 centimeters tall and 19 centimeters wide, and then you fold it over. Um, I don't even know if this is helpful for me, for you guys to, um, that I'm explaining this. Um, if you can't visualize it, it's like, I'm just talking nonsense, but um, yeah. Uh, so you create a double layer in that way because you fold the fabric over and then sew it together. And then she inserts another layer of fabric, so you have three layers. 
and then you start pleating it. So this is the mask that I made. It's a little bit wonky because um, there, there's a lot of layers here. And I think what makes this mask so pretty is that she sews all of the pleats. So I really like that. So even if you've worn it, so let me just put it on. And then you can snap it back into shape and it looks really nice. Um, what it does mean is that you can't put in a filter if you would like that. But the previous two masks also did not have the option of putting in a filter. Um, I was um, um, told that you have washable filters, um, so you can sew those in and they are washable um, about 50 times, which is quite a lot. Um, but uh, yeah, so I just put in regular fabric, so you could put in a washable filter in this one, but I actually I found three layers to be too much. I mean, it's just... Um, it gets too warm, it isn't breathable enough, so so I thought, okay, my next one I'm going to try with two layers. Uh, also, I find it to be kind of uh, too big, um, although it was perfect for my boyfriend. So, um, so the 50 centimeters length, I used that one for a mask for my boyfriend, and uh, mine, I, um, I modified it to 40 centimeters. So yeah, but I actually quite like this. I didn't um, finish it properly uh, because uh, you actually need to make a tube for the elastic to go through. I did do that on my um, finished masks. But um, yeah, I found the ironing of the pleats and then sewing them. I found that really satisfying. Um, and it also made it easier to sew them together here because um, if you just iron them and then pin them into place uh, and if you then sew across them, I find that my machine tends to um, flatten all of the um, pleats, kind of undo them. And with this one, it was much easier to keep the pleats where you want them to. So yeah, I thought this was a really great tutorial. So I tried it again without the inner layer. And that is this one. This one is even more wonky. <laughs> um, yes, but I was gonna say that's um, probably got to do with the fabric because you know this was my test fabric. I had a lot of it, but uh, once I actually moved on to the cottons that I wanted to use, it was much better. Um, yeah, so this one, for example, it wouldn't. Uh, if I ironed it, it would just be like this, kind of still, not flat. Um, yeah. So that has more to do with the fabric uh, than the pattern. But I did really like this one. I can't remember if I used the same length for this one. So uh, if this one is still the 50 centimeter length or if it or um, or if I already uh, modified it to 40 centimeters. Um, so I'm going to show you my proper masks in a second. I did also try another tutorial by, it was this Dutch, uh, Dutch sewing blog and it was by Bernina and I think that's a sewing machine brand. And I just tried it. Uh, it was basically the same, uh, only that um, with the DIY Craft JP uh, tutorial, you take one longer piece of fabric and then fold it over. And with this one, you take two, um, two fabric pieces and then sew it together. Um, so that's basically the only difference. And what I tried with this one, on this one, you also don't sew the pleats. Um, and what I tried with this one was to create a little dart here. So I just sewed across this because I thought it might give you a little bit better um, 
fitting masks around your chin. So it does fit better here. But um yeah, I just I just thought hmm, I might just try that. And I thought that might kind of combine the um pleated mask look with the cup mask um fit. But uh yeah, I just I just tried it and then decided not to do that for my actual masks. So I then went on to use my proper fabrics and the first one that I made has these birds on it. It was a fabric scrap that I got from my mother and I think it's really cute. And I used some H&M um, headbands actually um, for the elastic and I think it's really a uh, great elastic. Apparently it's called fold over elastic. So it's shiny on one side and matte on one side and it's called fold over elastics because if you pull it, it, um, it will tend to fold in half. Um, so this is the same mask as I made following the uh, DIY Crafts JP pattern. But again, I um, I modified the length to 40 centimeters, and um, yeah, I did not do an inner layer, and it fits me quite well. So let me just put it on. <laughs> this is gonna be unflattering. Um, <laughs> so one elastic goes on top of my hair, and one goes underneath my hair. And I really like this one. Um, yeah, let me take it off again. Um, so I really like uh, having the option of um, putting your elastic over your head because it's uh, way more comfortable. And I didn't have any thin elastics and this one would have been too wide to go um, around my ears. So I tried the uh, elastic tube with this one and that went really nicely and I really like that um, in the tutorial so you have this piece that you sew onto your mask and then you you want to fold it over um, and then she in the tutorial she folds the sides over and then she just glues it with a normal glue stick like you would use in primary school and that really uh, helped to keep the fabric down so you can sew the next step and I thought that was a really great tip. Um, so now I have a glue stick <laughs> in my sewing bag for whenever I need it. So I thought that was really funny. Um, the headbands, you see that they are different colors. Um, I joined them together by sewing over the elastic ends and then I took the ends into here. So, so I just sewed them together here and then I just kind of slide that into the tube. That's why you only see one color on each side. Um, so that was the first one. And then I made two of these. I had some black fabric because um, they were a little bit more suitable for my boyfriend than any flowery fabrics or with any other print. Uh, so I said this and um, so I did use the original measurements uh, mentioned in the video, so 50 centimeters um, high or long. And yeah, I used some elastic, it's just really plain elastic. Um, it's 10 millimeters wide, so one centimeter wide. And yeah, this one went pretty well. And it fits over his beard. So that is great. I made uh, two of them and um, 
because they look identical, I then sewed a little bit. I sewed a yellow square here and a red square here, just with some contrasting threads. And just so you can uh, know which one is which, so if you wore the yellow one, then he knows to wash that one, and you know, you don't want to get them mixed up. Um, so I made those two, and then the last one that I made also using this same pattern, uh, and I was getting pretty quick at it. So I made another one for myself, and this fabric um, is a really thin cotton fabric. It's it's really really thin. So I think I almost, I think I actually needed to use a smaller needle in my sewing machine because I noticed that the needle was kind of damaging the fabric when I was just you know, sewing through two layers. When I was doing the pleats and the other detailing, you're sewing through more layers, so it was it was better. But um, at the beginning, I, I kind of damaged the fabric. But, so it's really thin, uh, so it does, you know, it makes it more breathable. I'm not sure about the protection it, it gives, but, uh, you know, I'm making these masks to go, um, you know, to go abroad. And if you're wearing a shawl in front of your face, they will accept that. So I thought this is going to be better than holding a shawl over your face, at least. So, yeah, I really like this one. Elastics. So for these, um, I cut one piece of elastic and I used 80 centimeter length for these and 70 centimeter length for this one. And I just pulled it through the tube. I have a, um, I just took a little bit of garden wire and I folded it in half. Uh, I put it through the tube and then put the end of the elastic in there and then I pulled the elastic through and then I sewed it uh, at the ends and I sewed them with the stretch stitch on the machine. Uh, so yeah, this one was my quickest one so far and I think I'm gonna uh, make a couple more of this. Um, and that is actually all I have to say. So, um, yes, <laughs> I just found a pattern that I really liked and then I made a bunch of those. Um, so I can really recommend that pattern by DIY Crafts JP. Um, I'm sure that there are, you know, there are a bunch of other tutorials out there and I didn't try any others. So um, I'm sure there are many other great ones out there but i just i tried a couple of these and i thought to give you my thoughts on them so that was it for me for this video my very first sewing video and um yeah i'm sure <laughs> i'm sure i could have done better um i don't know all the sewing words yet and yeah i just tried a bunch of patterns and even though I'm a beginner, I thought to give you my thoughts on them and I hope you enjoyed them. Please do share uh, your favorite mask DIY in the uh, comments down below and perhaps I'll give those a try as well. I do hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye! Right, I forgot to say um, I did not try any DIYs for masks with a pocket because ideally you want that if you want to be able to put a filter into it and um, these masks I did not put in a nose clip so usually you know you kind of need to close off the mask at your nose 
right there. Um, and in the video that I mentioned earlier with the two ladies, um, you know, discussing all of the masks they made, the hundreds of thousands of masks, they give uh, some great uh, tips on what to use for uh, nose clips. So um, they discussed aluminum baking trays and um, um, you can also, you know, those twist ties, uh, take a couple of those and then duct tape around it and then you can sew that into place. I've heard that that works well uh, too. Um, but yes, I just wanted to include that into the video. So, okay, I'm going now. Bye-bye.